shout out to the WTC gang. We the chosen ones. Don't let nobody stop you from getting to your destiny. You can't afford to lose again. I need everybody to share this video because I'm about to really speak some real words of wisdom right now. You can't afford to lose again. You've been knocked down once. God says you cannot get knocked down again. I don't give a rat to ask who they are. It can be your auntie, it can be your uncle, it can be your niece, it can be your nephew. It can be your own kids. It can be your own family and friends. Don't let nobody stop you from getting to your destiny. God has prepared a place for you. God has prepared a vision just for you. And you will be surprised of how many people will really try to stop you from getting to your destiny. The enemy have all kinds of schemes and tricks up his sleeve. The enemy have all kinds of plots and plans against your dreams. But you tell the enemy and you tell that devil he is a liar. And the truth ain't in him. Understand what I'm saying right now. It's time for you to get to your destiny. It's time for you to really go for your calling. It's time for you to really go for your purpose out here. Because don't nothing else really matters right now. But your purpose in life. We're not going to be living for a long time, everyone. I need everybody to listen wisely, listen carefully. We're not going to be living for a long time. What have you done on this earth that's going to grant you access to your destiny? I need everybody to put that in the comments below and say, what have I done that's going to grant me access to my destiny? We too busy doing this. We too busy doing that. We too busy hanging out. We too busy going clubbing every night. Going to the strip club. Understand what I'm saying? Hanging out with the homies. We're too busy doing other things. But trying to get to our destiny. It's a lot of stumbling blocks that's been coming in your way, chosen ones. And when I really mean get to your destiny, I really mean get to your calling, get to your purpose, get to your vision. God gave you a gift to use. God gave you a vision. God gave you all kind of gifts and talents. And you'd be surprised. A lot of people are wasting their talents. Hanging out with the wrong person can delay you access from getting to your destiny. Do you know that? Do you know that you soon become the company that you keep? Do you know that? Do you know if you hang around people who are small minded, you will become small minded just like them? I can't hang around nobody who's small minded. I just can't. Because it's going to bring my mind all the way back down. Now I'm about to start thinking small because you think small. Have you ever told somebody your dreams? And they laughed at your dreams. Have you ever told somebody your goals? And they made fun of your goals. Have you ever told somebody one of your big dreams or one of your big thoughts? And they shut it down immediately. Nah, you can't do that. 
Nah, you you thinking too big, man. Nah, man, you crazy, man. And something in your heart is telling you to remove yourself from these people. Because let me tell you something. When people don't think big like you, that energy going to rub off on you. Small-minded people cannot comprehend big thoughts. You got to remove yourself or you're going to never, ever get to that promised land that God has promised you. You got to remove yourself. I want to hang around winners. I want to hang around successful people who's all about being successful. I don't want to hang around losers because I will soon be a loser just like them. God gave you knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who to surround yourself around. Don't be ignorant concerning Satan and his devices. If you guys are not compatible, your guys are just not compatible. I don't give a damn if it was an ex-relationship. You guys separated for a reason. You wonder why your last relationship didn't work. It's because you are the chosen one. It's because you, you, you comprehend big thoughts. It's because you dream big. You a dreamer of many dreams. People always want to steal your spotlight. People always want to steal your glow. People always want to steal your gift. People always want to monitor your every move. But don't nobody want to support your vision. Get away from around these people, y'all. Get from around these people. Because they don't want to see you make it. Because you think too big. Because you dream too big. Understand what I'm saying? You want to surround yourself around people that been there and done it. You want to surround your people, surround yourself around people who really is serving God, who really love the Lord. You want to really surround yourself around people who really don't believe in the nine to five. You need to surround yourself around people who have their own businesses, who are entrepreneurs. I'm going to keep it real with you. Chosen ones, we don't believe in the nine to five. So why would we hang around people that works the nine to five? It's going to stop us from our vision. Ever since I've taken off on YouTube, and I want to say thank you to the WTC family because we're almost at 23,000 subscribers. Ever since I have been taken off on YouTube, I never look back. And I'm not going to look back because of the simple fact that when God has told me to move, when God has really opened up the foundations for me to really, really use my gift, why would I want to go back to what I used to do? I don't want to go back to that small-minded life that I had. I was thinking small because I was around a bunch of small-minded thinking people. When you think small, you make small. Why you think that song say, scared money ain't make no money? Because they scared to make money. And when you scared to make money, guess what? You ain't gonna make no motherfucking money. Scared money don't make no money. I need everybody to put that in the comments below and say, scared money ain't, ain't making no money. You working at nine to five, that's scared money. You don't have that much faith in yourself. You don't believe that much in yourself to get out here and really get this bag. It's all kind of money out here. Scared money don't make no money. That's how I was at, at Wendy's, working at Del Taco, working at Taco Bell, Forever 21. I was scared at these jobs because I didn't know what I really wanted to do. You scared. People controlling you and telling you what to do. People coming to me and telling me all the time of what they going through at their job. Why they frustrated at their job. Why they bosses get on, on their nerves at their job. And you know what I tell people? Why don't you become your own boss? This is what I tell people. 
People complain to me all the time about their little job. I say, how's your day going? Man, I'm sick of this fucking job. But you know what's so funny? They don't even know who they talking to. They don't even know who they in front of right now. I just want to see how they think. Let me see if I can rock with you. Let me see if I can if I can plan something with you. If we can come with a business plan together. People don't even think like you. All you got to do is have a little conversation with somebody. They don't even think like you. But yet they watching you and they copying your every move. Let me tell you something. They don't even know they in front of an entrepreneur. They don't even know they in front of the chosen one, the greatest motivational speaker in all of universe. I need everybody to come in 11-11 right now because I'm coming with that more content, baby. They don't even know they ain't in front of an entrepreneur right now. I said, why don't you just start your own business, man? The white men don't want us to make it. This is what they say. It's designed for us to do this. It's designed for us to do that. It's designed for us to go clock in every day. That was just part of the plan. Get away from me thinking like that. Because the boss would never pay me to be his neighbor. I've been in the field for 15 long years, 15 years straight, never took a year off of work. I was working during the pandemic. That's how much of a go-getter I was. I was working during the pandemic, but let me tell you something. Once God told me to make my YouTube channel, once God told me to put out my ministry, once God told me to start up the WTC family, God told me you better start it and don't look back. You can do all things through Christ, which give you the strength. People ask me all the time, am I ready? Do you think I'm ready? You should know that for yourself. People are older than me asking me, do you think I'm ready? Do you think I can do live stream? Do you think I can do this? Do you think I can do that? You know how many people told me to do a live stream? And I'll say, nah, I'm going to wait for that. Nah, I'm going to wait. Let them wait. Scared money ain't making no money. I said, you know what? I'm going to start my first YouTube live stream. Found out I was qualified for the super chat. Understand, understand, baby. And when I went on my first YouTube live, I have gotten so much love within an hour and 30 minutes. Within an hour and 30 minutes. Don't tell me what God won't do. Because I finally put my mind to the test. I said, you know what? I'm going to just go live and just shout out to the WTC family because people want to see me live. There's nothing like seeing somebody really live in action. And I mean to tell y'all, y'all show me so much love. And I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Now I'm not afraid to go on live. I wasn't afraid at first. It was just something new. And when it's something new, guess what? God said, hey, I don't care if you do it. Do it scared. He said, I don't give a God dang if you're scared. If you're scared, do it scared. If you're scared to open up your own business, open up your own business and do it scared. I need everybody to put that in the comments below and say, I'm going to open up my own business and I'm going to do it while I'm scared. Because one thing that you don't want to have, and that's a prideful spirit. You don't want to have a cocky spirit. You don't want to have an arrogant spirit, a know-it-all spirit. It ain't going to get you nowhere, baby. Always go in there with a humble spirit. That's what the Lord loves. I'm a choir director. And little do y'all know, before I get up in front of these people, I am scared. But God told me to do it scared. God told me to do it with a humble heart. I need everybody to put that in the comments below and say, I'm going to do my dreams scared. And the minute you start doing your thing scared. God begin to use that gift 
God began to nurture that gift. He began to, to really mature and, and, and nature that gift because he know you got it in you. Sometimes when we do something new for the Lord, we're going to be scared as hell. Because you don't know what the outcome is going to be. You don't know if you're going to do a good job. If you don't know if you're going to do a mediocre job. But it don't matter. The people going to tell you how good of a job you do. God going to reveal to you from people of how a wonderful job you did. And after I finished directing without a choir rehearsal. People was coming up to me and telling me, wow, you did such an amazing job. I really felt your presence today. I really felt your energy. We need more youth. We need more energy up there. And you thinking you did a bad job. And your enemies is looking at each other. They going against you, looking at each other. But the devil is a liar. For it's the anointing that destroys every single yoke. My old pastor told me I did a wonderful job. People are not going to pat you on the back. People are not going to support you because they already know that you are destined for greatness. People are not going to put into your bosom because they already know you got it. Have you ever seen somebody support somebody else's dream and look at you like you ain't did nothing? But you the main focal point of the whole service. Understand what I'm saying? Your energy, your vibe, your anointing sets it off for the Lord's people. You thinking you need them? They need you. You thinking these people at, the, or your, at your nine to five that you need them? These people need you. Why you think they say we are hiring? Because if they don't hire the right people, their company ain't making it no money. You don't know what's going on in a nine to five job until you start working there. You don't know what's going on, going on behind closed doors when you work in a nine to five until you start working for these people, y'all. Understand what I'm saying? I'm not going to half step my calling. I'm not going to half step my destiny and I'm not going to let nobody stop me from getting to my destiny. I'm not going to half step my destiny either. When I make videos, when I make content, my videos be as long as they going to be. I'm not going to make no three minute videos. You can't learn nothing from that. I got a, a lot of knowledge to give out and I'm going to give it out to the people. People want to see you talk. People want to hear what you got to really say. People try to really change in their lives. What a four or five minute video going to do for people. Don't get bougie with the system. Don't cheat the system. If you are a motivational speaker, give it all you got. It'd be some days I'll be tired. It'd be some days I'll be worn out. But let me tell you something. I'm doing it for the people. I'm doing it because guess what? God has called me to do it. Understand what I'm saying? And I'm not going to have to do it. My granny always to say, if you're going to do something, don't have to do it. Do it right or don't do it at all. Why give you a three minute video and I can give you a 33 minute video? Understand, understand. I want to make sure you are spoon fed. I want to make sure you got some knowledge and wisdom and understanding inside of you. I want to make sure you all right. Understand what I'm saying? Because I'm fine. God gave it to me and now he want me to give it to you. You can't afford to lose again. I need everybody to put that in the comments below. You done came too far. You can't afford to lose again. You done lost the first time. You can't lose again. Stop docking, uh, ducking and dodging your gift. Too many y'all are ducking and dodging your gift. Y'all ducking and dodging your calling. You're ducking and dodging your anointing. Stop ducking and dodging. You're ducking and dodging enemies. It's okay to be low key, but you ain't got to duck and dodge nobody. God said, use your gift freely. I need everybody to put that in the comments below and say, I'm going to use my gift freely. What are you doing with your gift? You can't afford to lose again. You're going to win in this season. 
Don't become a winner and then go back to becoming a loser. You can't afford to lose again. You done made it this far. You are about to receive your trophy. You are about to receive your Oscar. Don't do what Will Smith did. Do the opposite. Remain humble. Remain humble. Because you already know that humility is going to open doors for you that no man can close. Humility. And when them doors open for you, here come that devil. That devil don't stop. That devil, he would try to come in any, any shape, form, or fashion. That devil, that enemy, with his old ugly self. He can go back to the pits of hell with his old ugly self. Tell him to go back to the pits of hell to where he belongs. Because it seems like the more successful you become, you're going to have to fight a bigger devil every single time. Be ready to knuckle up. Because you're going to have to fight. You're going to have to face a bigger demon. Understand, understand. Join my WTC Mentor program. It is still going down. My email is Jordan underscore Howard 18 at yahoo.com. I promise you, I'm going to get you to the next level. If you guys like to be a blessing to my YouTube channel, my cash app is dollar sign symbol. God will provide three one. That is my cash app. My PayPal is God will provide three zero. I'm telling you right now. Don't let nobody stop you from getting to your destiny. Because that's what the enemy will try to do. He will stop you from getting to your destiny. I don't give a damn who they are. And since everybody walked out on you, you don't owe no explanation to nobody any fucking way. You owe it all to the Lord Jesus Christ. You cannot afford to lose again. You done came this far. Keep going. I'm proud of you. Ain't nobody told you they proud of you. I'm proud of you. Trust me, I pay attention, y'all. If nobody told you that they are proud of you, I'm telling you right now that I am proud of you. People that are gonna tell me that, only the people that I don't I don't know that's gonna tell me. But the people that know me, oh, they're not gonna tell me that. They're not gonna like your post. They're not gonna subscribe to your channel. They're not going to join your, join your live stream and, and show you some love. I understand what I'm saying. Because they want the blessings that God has given you. These people are not happy that you're making it. That's why you have to distance from yourself from, from all these motherfuckers. I'm just keeping it straight facts. Keep going. Keep grinding. Better days are coming for you. Your greater is coming. And just know if you need a friend, you already know you got a friend in me. If you need prayer, you already know you got a prayer warrior in me, baby. If you need motivation, if you need inspiration, you already know you got the best motivational speaker in the whole wide world, you boy. We the chosen ones. Be blessed.